Welcome back, Stanimals. As we all know, the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial has been going on for seven days, and there's a lot of crazy clips that have been coming out. It's actually pretty funny. So I figured we would do like a quick recap of the Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp defecation case. I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm completely biased towards a particular side that generally the entire internet is siding with. I'm sure you can guess who. So with that said, let's start with day one. Day one began with a bang with some crazy texts that Johnny Depp sent. Let's check them out. After you said, let's drown her before we burn her, Mr. Depp, yeah. you said, I will f her burnt corpse afterwards to make sure she is dead. Did I read that right? You certainly did, yes. And you wrote that about the woman who would later become your wife. Yes, I did. So it looks like this started well before they got married, and I kind of have to criticize Johnny Depp here as much as I love the guy for him picking a crazy one and kind of seeing it through. Day two of the defecation trial is pretty much the nail in the coffin for, I think, about the entire internet, myself included. I think this jury is probably going to be sold on Johnny Depp's side of things because of this audio recording that's pretty damning for Amber Heard. Go do that. I said, no, tell, tell them what you said. And I lied. And that you punched me in You're the fucking thing. And you you figured it all out. And you said, no, f it. no, I didn't. What the f are you talking about? And I, I watched you, you lie. And then I, I didn't I punch you, by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. I don't know. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you started. You are such a baby. Grow the f up, because you Johnny. Physical fights. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. So I had because to get out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. So again, that's like the damning clip, the audio, and that came out a couple years ago, and still all the media and everybody that's supporting Johnny Depp now, back then they were all on Amber, Amber Heard's side. So I don't know what's up with that. Also on day two, that's when Dookie time happened. So apparently Amber turd turded on Johnny Depp's pillow on the side of the bed. And then he showed me a photograph. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a photograph of the bed, our bed, and on my side of the bed was human fecal matter. <laughs> so I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Look at her face. I mean, I laughed. I would too. Day three is probably one of the funniest days out of the seven days because this lawyer was just like being really ridiculous with hearsay, hearsay, hearsay. And not everyone understands what that means in a court of law. So it makes them look really silly. But at the end of the day, hearsay is when someone else says something and you're relaying what someone else said in court, lawyer can claim hearsay. But anyways, it's still really funny. Objection calls for hearsay. Noni. Let, let me ask you a different question, Mr. Depp. Um, yes. Let's let him object to another one. Had a conversation with Ms. Hurd. <laughs> Let's move beyond the conversation that Kevin Murphy had with Ms. Hurd. Yes, they had. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the reason Ms. Heard had told hearsay or Again, hearsay is when you're saying what someone else says and yeah, but anyways, it's still really funny, especially with the way Johnny Depp was holding that situation. You know, like I think he knows how to just be funny and he's using comedy to his advantage here. Day four was pretty wild because the defense was trying to discredit Johnny Depp because of a bunch of like hit pieces that were written on him by all those crazy newspapers you see when you're checking out at the grocery store. Do they still have those? Mr. Depp, if you could please take a look at the, the stack of articles in front of you. Yes, it's a stack of hit pieces. Yes, the, the first one is called the Ms. Hurd's publicity just, team. Mr. Depp, I'm, I'm, we're gonna try to get through this as quickly as possible. I'm just um, I'm gonna ask you about the are. first one. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about them. The first one is entitled, um, it's from The Guardian. Do you see that? Apparently drunk. Yes, and this is a, an article from, from November 15th, 2014. 
entitled Apparently Drunk Johnny Depp Cut Off at Hollywood Film Awards Ceremony, correct? Uh, that's what it says, yes, sir. In the next article, it's entitled Johnny Depp, Friends and Family Seriously Concerned About Him, Here's Why. Yes, correct? how did they know? The next article, from May 1st, 2017, before yes, Ms. Heard filed uh, for a restraining order. The headline is, Johnny Depp has a clear and epic sense of entitlement, ex-managers say. Yes. Published in The Hollywood Reporter, correct? I was in a lawsuit with him, sir. Johnny Depp reportedly drank heavily and was constantly late on the new Pirates movie set. Did I read that right? You did, reportedly. The next article, these are all also from pieces. May 10th, these are drugs, 2017. Mr. This Depp, is a pathetic attempt. Mr. Depp, please just respond to the question that I'm asking you. What's your the question, next question Mr. The next, the next document, <laughs> an article published in Vanity Fair on May 10th, 2017, yes, is entitled, Johnny Depp's Financial Woes Might Sink the Next Pirates of the Caribbean. Did I read that right? You, you did. I don't know. The oh, next article, May so yeah, they're using tabloids to try and discredit Johnny Depp. I think that's an absolute L move. Everyone can see through that, no problem. It's actually comical. Day five of the defecation lawsuit, Amber Heard's lawyer objects to his own question. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on uh, one of his well, fingers. Uh, objection, Here's, hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Oh, oh. next question. Okay, he said he sustained an injury to his finger. Yes. But you don't know what caused the injury to his finger. One of his fingers. Day six is absolutely hilarious. So there's this psychologist, I think it was Amber Heard's psychologist, and she was answering some questions, but the lawyer couldn't get past the subject of these muffins. So the question that was asked was because you brought muffins, you said from your husband, right? You get, And you gave those to Ms. Heard, correct? May I clarify what occurred so that we can stop talking about the muffins? What happened was that I was getting ready that morning. I frequently bring muffins to the office. My husband did happen to know that there was going to be a celebrity client coming in because on the mornings that that occurs, which often occurs, we have to actually clear the office and move the staff to the other office. So yes, on the one hand, he was aware of that. I was getting ready. I asked him to go to the bakery near our house and pick up the muffins for me because I was running late. He often has to do that because I often do run late. He brought the muffins back to the house. I brought them into the office. Ms. Hurd and I enjoyed the muffins together. I think I made a comment to her along the lines like, we can thank my husband, he brought, or my husband got these for us today, meaning he purchased the muffins. We are now enjoying them because of him. She's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Her husband is now known as the Muffin Man, like forever. It is sealed in time because of the, you know, trial of the century. Joking aside, did anyone see that clip of Dr. Shannon Curry putting her glasses on? <laughs> Day seven was very bizarre because Johnny Depp's driver was pulled in to testify, but he did so in his car while vaping and driving. And the judge's face says it all. Did her heard treat you well and was she friendly to you in each of these hundreds of times? Yes, yes. I, I'm not going to say no because she was really always nice. Right. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> what is this trial? <laughs> Every single day of this trial has been absolutely hilarious. This is like the most entertaining thing. Court is fun, man. Is it wrong to laugh at this? I don't think so because these are super like huge personalities out there, right? They're, they're there for us to be interested in and see this kind of stuff. They've got zillions of dollars each, you know? So it's fine. It's okay to laugh. So yeah, that's the first seven days of the trial. Every single day so far has been absolutely hilarious. This is the most bizarre thing court case I've ever seen. I think Amber Heard is an absolute psycho. I mean, just look at her face. She's pretty, but psycho. A lot of those people exist. Feels bad Johnny got sucked into her madness. I hope he wins and he can get his jobs back, all that kind of stuff. But he is pretty ruined because of what she said in the past. Two years ago, the media was saying some completely different things. Funny how things just kind of flip-flop whenever they want, right? What do you guys think so far? Let me know what your favorite part of the trial is. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.